Hello, Burnaby Kindergarten, and welcome to another lesson. The last time, we practiced taking big, deep belly breaths to calm down. Let's start by practicing three deep belly breaths all together. Remember, in through your nose and out through your mouth quietly. Here we go. Awesome job. Today, we're gonna to talk about another time when we need to stay calm. We're going to talk about how to handle waiting. Being able to wait respectfully is called being patient. Take a look at this picture of my friend Lucy and let's see if we can help her learn how to wait patiently. This is Lucy. She's waiting in line to go out to recess. She's supposed to be waiting quietly, but she just can't stay still. She keeps spinning around, and she's bumping into the other kids and getting out of line. Let's look at Lucy. How do you think she feels? She's feeling happy or excited. Excited is a really strong feeling. Does it look like Lucy needs to calm down? Yeah, I think so too. The first thing that Lucy can do to calm down is to stop and name her feeling. She remembers to do this too. She says, stop, I'm feeling excited. Then she remembers that she can take some slow, deep belly breaths to help her calm down. She puts her hands on her belly and breathes in slow through her nose and out through her mouth. Luckily for Lucy, her teacher just taught her something she could do to help her wait in line. She thinks to herself about what she could say that would help her wait patiently. She decides to say, I can do it. I can wait. And then she remembers that she could look around the classroom and count things to help her pass the time. She decides to count the people in line. She counts 10 people in line, and before she knows it, it's time to go out to recess. All right, everyone. Our friend Lucy helped us learn three steps to help us wait patiently. First, say stop and name your feeling. So Lucy said, stop, I'm feeling excited. Second, she took some big, deep belly breaths to help her calm down. And finally, you can say something to yourself that helps you wait. You could say something like, I can do it, I can wait patiently, or pass the time by counting the people in line or things around the room. All right, kindergarten, that's all for now. Great job, and see you next time.